Good morning, Horn Lake High School. It is Friday. It's game day. I'm here with Trent. He's got his uh, supplements for this morning. Tell us what you got. Hey, we don't call them supplements because that's not what they are. That's my breakfast. What is your breakfast? I got a fourth exactly cup of peanuts and some Slim Jims. So we are all protein this morning and a lovely bottle of water. Correct. Okay, uh, we were talking in class yesterday. I got my flu shot. And by the way, you should all get your flu shot because flu season is here and, you know, we need to try to protect ourselves as much as possible because of COVID-19. So you don't want any false COVID-19 sicknesses and you actually have the flu. Trent does not care much for shots of any kind. Nope. I don't like needles. I hate needles. I mean, like, well, you want me to go in detail? When anybody talks about needles, I start to wince because, like, I just... I don't like the sight of them. I don't like the thought of them. I don't like the even knowing that they're entering my body. Like, look, I'll tell you a story, right? When I was like real little, like we're talking about like three years old, right? I don't even remember. My mom tells me the story every time I go to get a shot. She said that I heard them say that I had to have a shot and I jumped off the table and started running around the entire doctor's office building. Which knowing me, I probably did it. Because I do that, I do that to this day. I hate shots. I cannot stand shots. Like my mom still takes me to go get Baskin Robbins after I get a shot. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I think Kayla's over here off camera laughing because I guess she's thinking of an image of Trent running around the doctor's office not just Trent. today. Not just Trent. But three-year-old Trent. Three-year-old Trent. Well, it's it's just as funny to think about. How old are you? Seventeen. Seventeen-year-old Trent running around the doctor's office with the nurses chasing him with a flu shot. I mean, it's a teeny tiny, teeny tiny little shot. It's still a needle. It's the same reason why I won't get like my ears pierced or anything. Not only because it won't look good, but I, I do not like um, non like normal holes in my body. Okay, look, you hear me out. I cannot stand needles. Like, God, they're just awful. Okay, the flu shot is but a tiny needle. I, a mosquito bite hurts worse than the flu shot needle. That's a lot. So go ahead and... I'm allergic so to mosquitoes. Go ahead and get your flu shot. You should get your flu shot. It's just... I get torn up by mosquitoes every year. I'd rather do that than get a flu shot. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Uh, yeah, uh, I hear them chats in the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear them chat with the boys. Not so tough, but minds keep walking. Just too shot with the prize. White girls let it tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Like fire on the pond If you wanna touch my peace, use caution Cold like zero degrees I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast Revolutionary, gotta let out the streets Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Wake up, get out the sheets We came for one man, forget my peace You take the west, I'll take on the east I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the Let out the, let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Not so tough, but minds keep walking, yeah Welcome to Eagle Vision for Friday, October 23rd, 2020. I'm Kayla, and today's top story hits tech headlines. Amongst the slew of negative publicity Facebook and its fellow social media companies have been getting in recent months, Facebook's next big thing could be all about getting to know your neighbors better. The company confirmed this week that it's testing a new feature that encourages users to post and share news in a miniature social network focused on small geographical areas. Users can create special profiles that share limited information with their neighbors, while Facebook itself will use the detailed location data it collects from those enrolled to serve more relevant ads. The feature is called Neighbors and is currently being tested in just a single market in Canada, but it's likely Facebook will roll out access more widely if the test is a success. 
Another social network company called Nextdoor has built a very similar app and is currently seeking public funding with a value of four to five billion dollars. A few days ago, we featured Mrs. Clark as the Teacher of the Month for October. Her interview unfortunately got cut short due to some intercom announcements, so today we're going to replay her segment. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Clarksdale, Mississippi, which is a little bit south of here. I lived there all through high school and went to college from there. Tell us about your family. My dad worked at a uh, uh, local factory. My mom was a stay-at-home mom, and it was just us three, besides the dogs. <laughs> Tell us about your years in high school. Uh, in high school, I did a lot of activities. Um, I didn't play sports or anything, but we did have mock trial. Um, I went to presidential classroom in Washington, D.C. The national, um, the, um, national Youth Leadership on Democracy, um, Homeland Security. What was a pivotal moment in your teenage years? Um, probably going to that presidential classroom. We got to go, this was right after 9-11. This was the summer after 9-11. We got to go into the Pentagon. Um, into the newly uh, painted section um, and so that was really interesting. What jobs did you have in high school? Um, I didn't really have any paying jobs um, but I worked at our church a lot um, doing all sorts of stuff. What's the funniest thing you can think of that happened to you in high school? Well once again we were in uh, I was up in DC with presidential classroom and we ended up and got locked out of um, one of the monuments. It was late at night. We were supposed to be going and visiting this monument at night. Um, they closed the gates on us, and we had to kind of sort of work our way back um, the long way home, so to speak. Tell us about your college experience. I went to Mississippi State um, for all of my degrees. Um, I ended up, I started off in biology, and then I went to, um, I also got a degree in Spanish by accident. And uh, I ended up going to animal and dairy science and then got my um, master's in education. How did you choose your future profession? Did you originally plan on being a teacher? No, I did not. Um, I became a teacher by way of the fact that I was overqualified for most other jobs um, in my fields. Um, and they basically, somebody suggested it and it kept getting suggested and it kept getting suggested so finally I just took their advice and became a teacher. What's something outside of school you're passionate about? Animals. Um, I've got the degree in biology, I've got the degree in animal science. Um, so I spend a lot of time with horses and dogs. Tell us something you've always dreamed about doing. Something on your bucket list. Um, now that I have my horse, um, well, I've actually got two but now my one horse um, was going to be a great trail horse. So I want to do trail rides in all the national parks. What's something students might not know about you? I like musical theater. Um, I used, when I was in high school, we did a, our church did a lot of um, plays and musics, musicals in, uh, in the church. So I was always involved in that. What's something you love about this school? The people, the students. Um, everybody's just so friendly with one another. We're here with Mr. Jones at F5 to talk about the asteroid heading toward us on the day of the election. What do you know about the asteroid? So, um, asteroids actually orbit the sun in between Mars and Jupiter. And uh, this is a relatively small asteroid. It's not actually going to impact the Earth. It's going to burn up before it even touches the Earth's surface. So technically the Earth is what's known as an open system and that means that it can receive matter and energy from space. So this asteroid is so small, I think it's less than like 18 meters big, it's going to burn up before it even hits the Earth. Okay, <laughs> so what is the difference between a meteor and an asteroid? So asteroids are bigger than meteors and uh, as asteroids move into the Earth's atmosphere, they actually can become smaller because they are burning up and burning away. So they're losing mass. There's not a whole lot of mass in an asteroid to begin with. 
So um, it's just about the size. Meteors are smaller than asteroids. It's now time for today's announcements. Pay attention, we're moving fast. Students, those of you who are virtual will have tutoring options available to you on Wednesday afternoons. Tutoring will be from 2.45 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. You must let your teachers know if you plan on attending the sessions via Schoology no later than 2 p.m. each Wednesday. Virtual tutoring will take place through the Teams app, allowing you to have live sessions with the teachers. Traditional students here in the building also have tutoring options on Monday afternoons. Be sure to sign up in the cafeteria on Mondays during lunch if you plan on attending the sessions. You can also talk with your teachers if you're interested in signing up. Tonight we have a home football game at 7 o'clock. Make sure to be there to support your Eagles. That's it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we are better students, always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus Stop and that. athletic schedules. We'll see you here on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Stop that. Stop that. Like zero degrees I'm out the cage Gotta let out the beast Revolutionary guy Let out the streets Locked in a cage I'ma let out the Let out the Let out the Wake up Get out the sheets We came for one man Forget my peace We take the west side Take on the east I'ma put him in a cage Never let out the Let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick Can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Not so tough But minds keep talking yeah. Just too sharp with the prize White girls Let her tell me I'm awesome yeah. Not like fire on the pine if you wanna touch me, I'm free shoes, caution Beg please get on your knees Came from the jungle, up in the trees I got a few tricks up in the sleeve Run, run, move, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Big shoes, check out the crease Blow like I'm big foot, step on the beat Make a man's run till he step out the cleats When the whole place scream, gotta get out the, get out the. Yeah, I, I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Not so tough, but minds keep walking, yeah Dress too sharp with the prize White girls better tell me I'm Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that.